most of our grasses that we use as cover crops don't really like wet feed or waterlogged soils. But this is Japanese millet and it's an exception because it does very well in waterlogged soils and doesn't mind wet feed at all. And for that reason, it's got some special niches that it can feel, uh, fill in those wetland areas. Uh, Dale, tell us a little bit about Japanese millet, how it compares to some of the other millets and again, where and why you use it. Uh, it's probably comparable yield wise to like the foxtail millets, you know, white wonder or German millet. Um, it, uh, of course, it, it, it grows in places where other summer annuals fail, you know, standing water. The seed can also be broadcast pretty well into, into mud flats uh, where everything else needs drilled pretty much. So that's, that's a bonus, the fact that it can be broadcast. Um, in w more humid areas, especially places with terrace channels or, or places of standing water potholes, I like to put a little Japanese millet in the mix because you don't end up with drown out spots that grow nothing but smart weeds. Mm -hmm. You get good forage over the entire field instead of having those areas of no production. Seeds also pretty good wildlife value. Ducks really like it, as you might expect. In fact, the biggest user of this is the, the uh, waterfowl yep. industry. And uh, so good forage value, even after it matures, it's still pretty decent. It doesn't get as lignified as some of the other summer annual grasses in the winter. So probably not the highest quality forage of anything, but in, in areas where you're prone to drowning out, it might be your best choice. It beats a mud hole. 